I will sing all the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing all the mercies of the Lord. I will sing all the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing all the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth, with a made known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth, will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing. All the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness. Thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. I will sing. All the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing all the mercies of the Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, I will sing your mercies. I will sing your goodness. I will sing your compassion. I will sing your goodness, your grace. To all, to me and to my entire generation, to all generations. Because by His God, by your mercies, we are not consumed. That you every morning great is our faithfulness. I want to thank you for all the previous spiritual breakfast. And I want to thank you for what you are going to do today. To the glory of your holy name, in Jesus' name. Once again, I welcome you to spiritual breakfast. The program I prepare you for a daily encounter. On a daily basis, and I want to say, God will touch you this morning. God will touch you mightily. In the name of Jesus. And today we are still on let there be light. We are 132 brokers of Let There Be Light. And our text is still taken from Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And it, and it says, God, and God say, Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, and God say, Let there be light, and there was light. In Exodus, where we are going to draw our decrees and prophecy. In Exodus, in chapter 11, Verse one to ten, verse one to ten. Exodus chapter eleven, verse one to ten. God performed wonders when He struck dead the firstborn of Pharaoh and the firstborn of all the Egyptians to prove that there is a difference between Egyptians and Israel. God was trying to prove His love for His people, and when He told Pharaoh, "Let my people go," and they refused, and Pharaoh refused, He decided to show. Pharaoh that is a God of wonders. And God, so God struck the struck dead, all the firstborns. All the firstborns of from the very dead, all the firstborn of Pharaoh, and all the firstborn of the Egyptians. And they died, and not even a single soul died in the camp of Israel, in the house of Israel. Not even their stone, not the animals, no single thing died in the in the camp of Israel. There was life. Because the light of God shine upon the children of Israel. The light of God shine upon their homes. The light of God shine upon everything they have. The light of God shine upon their cattle, everything they have. Everything they have, the, the, God bring this light upon them. And so death could not go near that light. Death it represents darkness. And death could not go where there's light because death cannot, the darkness cannot comprehend light. And so the children of Israel were spared. Everything they had was spared. This morning I pray, I pray in the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus. 
I pray and I decree by the mandate of heaven upon my life and the powers invested in me that God of God, the Lord God Almighty, we prove his might upon your life and upon your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, Ramo Shado Rikanda Rakamado. Rikanda Rimoro Kori Mukura, he can't do Shatta Rakamado Rimokundo. Rikamara Mokuri Mura Kimando Rakando Rimokuri Mahinda Sakanda. Rikamara Mori Mokundo, he Mahando Rimokura Kinda. Ramakori Mokundo Hakimando Ramando Rimokura Kanda. In the name of Zabuka, in the name of the Nikana Command and the Prophesy, by the mandate of heaven upon the powers invested in me. That the Almighty God will shine His light upon you, and upon every, upon you, and upon every member of your family, and upon every member of your household, and that from henceforth, and every henceforth, everything that belongs to you, oh God will shine the light upon them. God will shine up light upon you, and everything you have shine His light upon you, you and the household shine up His light upon you, and your family. And everything he has given to you, everything he has blessed you, God is shining his light upon them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rimo Shakano, Rimo Kurakenda. Because of the light of God that is upon you, which I decree by the mandate of heaven upon life, will shine upon you forever. Will shine upon you and your family and your household forever. No form of death, I decree by the mandate of heaven upon my life and the power of in me. No form of death, whether spiritual, whether physical, whether financial, whether mental, whether emotional, whether marital, whether material, whether biological, ministerial, will come upon you and your family again in the name of Jesus. Rambo Shakando Rimoro Kurakanda. You will not die. Members of family will not die. You will not die until you are appointed down. Appointed time. No member of your family will die upon the appointed time. God will erase death from your family. God will erase death from your family. God will erase death from everything that concerns you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rimo Shando Rakimando. Rikando Rimo Rokoro Mahakanda Rimo Shikanda. Rikando Mahakimando Rimo Rokoro Mahakanda Rimo Rokoro Kendo. Rimo Mando Rimo Rikando Shakamu Rokando. I declare my command and I prophesy for the money of heaven upon my land, the powers invest in me. The hands for the Lord God Almighty will take away from you every form, you and your family, every form of sickness, every form of disease, every form of infirmity, from you and your family and your family and your household. From you, but to God will take away sickness, whether it be cure, or curable and incurable sickness. No sickness will be for you again. No disease will be for you again. No infirmity will be for you again. That sickness unto death will not touch you. I, that sickness they told you and they told you. It's unto death. We, we, I command the Lord if I, I command counsel and I declare upon your life divine health. The all round health. Uh, all round divine health. All round divine health. All round divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I command the professor by the mandate of heaven upon my life. And by the powers invested in me. That the Lord God Almighty in his mercy and compassion will be gracious unto you and members of your family and grant you and your family divine life divine life and you will live in perfect health you will live in perfect health oh you will live in perfect health and divine life for the rest of your life that's what they call divine health you go to your sick you go to the hospital you are treated and you are healed because God heals but there's also what is called divine life you will never know sickness. Uh, you will never know disease. Uh, they will, you will never know infirmity. They will not come and run to you. You will never know death. Thy decree divine life upon your life and family. Thy decree divine life upon your family. You can decree divine love upon your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rimo Shakando Rimo Rokondo. Rikamando Rimo Rakimando Kono Hakanda. Have you been told that our sickness is unto death? Uh, Rimo Shakando Rimo Kondo. I have a good news for you. You are healed. You lay your hands upon your head right now. Lay your right hand upon your head. I decree by the mandate of heaven upon my life and the powers invested in me. Uh, that sickness is unto death. It's not unto death. That sickness is not unto death. Uh, by the power of the 40 stripes uh, that was laid upon Jesus, 
by the mind of the help of God and the powers invested me. I decree by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed and made whole. That I decree by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed and made whole. That that sickness is leaving your body right now. You are healed instantly. You are healed from the crown of your head to the source of your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever situation, sir, you are going through uh, every situation of death, uh, every situation of death, uh, you are going through your life and family in the name of Jesus. I cancel them, uh, I cancel them, uh, I cancel that situation of thy life, that situation of death. I nullify it, uh, I decree no and void of offense, I nullify it. Uh, every legal girl, sir, that is bringing that situation, uh, I cancel cover with the blood of Jesus. Every legal grounds uh, that is in that situation that uh, I cover with the blood of Jesus I nullify that. Uh, I cancel it. Uh, I decree null and void uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ramosha kando rimbo no kura kanda. Have they told you are going to die? Have they told you are going to die? I nullify character descendants. Whatever descendant the power of darkness has pronounced upon you. By the mandate of heaven, upon the power invested in me, I cancel that death sentence. I nullify that, cancel that death sentence. You will live, you will not die. You will live to glorify God uh, in the land of the living, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will live to glorify God uh, in the land of the living. Uh, wherever you are standing, uh, I command you to stand uh, I begin to do that which you could not do. I decree you healed. Uh, I decree you healed uh, instantly right now. I decree you healed uh, instantly right now. Begin to do that which you are not do, which you could not do before. I will, I will be sentenced uh, unto bed. Uh, you have not stood up before. In the name of Jesus, I command you to rise up and begin to walk. Uh, I command you to rise up and begin to walk uh, and begin to go on now. I cancel that death sentence. I cancel that death sentence. I discharge you in the name of the Lord. I decree you heal and made whole. In the name of Jesus. Ramoshakano Rimokonura Kanda. I declare and I command and I prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon the powers invested in me that the Lord God Almighty in his mercy and compassion will be gracious unto you and members of your family and grant you divine life, uh, divine life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, man. All I have said this morning will be your portion and more than your portion. If only and only if, if you are the born again child of God. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Ambassador? If the answer is yes, I want to tell you congratulations. But if the answer is no, I beg you in the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus, to go on your knees and confess your sins. And ask God, the Lord God Almighty, to be merciful, of, to be just and to be compassionate on you. And forgive all your sins and cleanse you from all of righteousness. And then and only then you will be partaker of this program. And that which I decree this morning will become your portion. We become your portion in the name of the Lord. And, you, and I want you to also accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and Master. From henceforth, it will be well with you. From henceforth, you will never know sickness. From henceforth, you will live a divine life in the mighty name of Jesus. Do that quickly. I want to decree my last decrees. I declare and I command and I prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon the life and the power is invested in me. That in your life and your family, I decree no more financial debt. No more financial debt. And I decree by the mandate of heaven upon the life and the power is invested in me. That from henceforth, you will flow in extraordinary financial abundance. You will flow in extraordinary financial abundance. You will flow in extraordinary financial favor. You will flow in in extraordinary financial blessings for the rest of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never lack. You will never lack any good thing. You will never lack any good thing. God will bless you beyond measure. God will bless you be limitlessly in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the mandate of heaven upon my life, the power is invested in me. And even when I come and I prophesy, no more untimely death. Are you a family? Do you belong to a family? When they don't live old, when they live a particular number of years and they die. Some of them don't live above 40, some of them don't live above 50, some of them don't live above 60, some of them at the prime of their life they die. Listen to me and listen to me carefully. 
by the mandate of heaven upon my life, the powers invested me. I cancel that death sentence. I nullify in the name of Jesus. I nullify in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb, I cancel it. By the blood of Jesus, I cancel it. I decree no that void. I cancel that death sentence. Wherever the source of that death sentence is, is it from your foundation? I decree your foundation heal by the blood of the Lamb. Is it from your foundation? I decree your foundation heal by the blood of the Lamb. I ask your God that you will send heavenly prayers to rebuild that foundation, to rebuild that foundation and heal you with the blood of Jesus. I decree from now on that family will never suffer untimely death. They will live longer. They will live to glorify you. They will live a long life. They will live a long life. They will glorify you. In the name of Jesus, I ask that, oh God Almighty, they will receive your mercy and your compassion and you will be gracious unto them. In the name of Jesus, I decree them to long life. They will live to fulfill their days on earth. They will never die untimely. And no member of that family will die untimely death. To the glory of God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. And to the shame of the devil, I decree. And I decree by the mind of heaven upon life and the powers invested in me in just name. This is where the program is going to end today. And I see you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. Same time tomorrow, follow me on my Facebook page. On my personal blog, Pastor J. E. K. E. B. Pastor J. E. K. B. Or follow me on my ministry. Praise, victory in Jesus' praise because I told of God. And God will bless you and bless you mightily. And you will never know sorrow. You will never know shame. You will never know sickness. And God will embarrass you. The God that is behind this ministry, the God that is over that side, will bless you beyond imagination. God bless you and God bless you. In Jesus' name. I see you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. Nigeria time. God bless you and God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen.